Welcome to night two of the virtual Taste 2020. And tonight it's called the Impossible Challenge. And we have Chef Garrett from Blue Agave and Chef Ryan from Bistro Natil. Our chefs tonight made the impossible possible and did it with flair. And you know what, Charlene? I'm pretty excited to be wearing my fancy outfit because it might be the only opportunity I have for months. So we're excited to make an evening of this. Yes, let's get to it and see what these amazing chefs come up with. And don't forget to enter for your chance to win an amazing prize package with gift cards from Bistro Natil and Blue Agave. Cheers. Cheers. The Food Bank for Larimer County presents the Taste 2020 Challenge. Tonight, two chefs go head to head in an epic culinary food fight. In the yellow corner, it's Ryan Damaski, chef at Bistro Natil. And in the purple corner, it's Garrett Adler, chef at Blue Agave. Both men have one goal, to be the Taste 2020 champion. The judge for tonight's main event is the Food Bank's Community Engagement Coordinator and Diva of Dining, Charlene Olms. Each chef will have 30 minutes to prepare a meal using one secret protein and two staple ingredients that can normally be found at the food bank. <laughs> Who will impress our judge and come out on top? Let's find out. Welcome to the Taste 2020 Challenge. We're so excited to have Chef Garrett Adler from Blue Agave Grill and Chef Ryan Damaski from Bistro Natil in our nutritious kitchen this evening. These are our toast of the taste winners from the past two years at the Taste Benefit. So they have 30 minutes and as you can see, the clock has started and they are working hard here. How are you feeling guys? Are you excited? Very, super, <laughs> super excited. Oh, are we uh, feeling um, excited about this impossible meat, which is the required protein for this evening? Not really. <laughs> I don't think many chefs are. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Chef Ryan? Have you worked with Impossible Meat before? Uh, yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's a good vegetarian substitute. Okay. It's not a regular in your like home every evening, though? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we also have a few exciting ingredients. Corn flakes, carrots, and canned peas that they have to use two of. So we will see what they are working with here. Um, what are you pouring there? Chef Garrett, what you got going on? Got a little pea action going on here. Oh, we've got the peas. Okay, so item number one of those three is in mm. use with Chef Garrett. And I cannot see over there, Chef Ryan, what are you mixing? What are you pouring there? I have a uh, sweet cornflake spetzel working. Ooh, okay. And I'm getting my uh, meat ready for a little uh, Hungarian German meatball or Hungarian meatball. Hungarian meatball, okay. And then a uh, carrot and uh, kale uh, agridolce. Wow, okay, he's got a plan. I am impressed here. Little plays with sweet, sour, and spicy. Sounds good. Chef Garrett, are you willing to part with any of your secrets of what you're preparing over there? I'm making a little three-step bread in here. Okay, making some breading here with the uh, corn flakes. We use the corn flakes for that. So tonight, we are actually here with our chefs in our awesome commercial kitchen at the Food Bank for Larimer County. Um, but did you know that we also have a food truck named The Lunch Lab? The Lunch Lab served thousands of meals and snacks to children at dozens of locations all summer. We've got some um, aggression being taken out on the cornflakes right now. Did that feel good? <laughs> Took a lot of anger out from the week, you know? From 2020. You uh, just take out that 2020 on those cornflakes. All right, good job. Well, we appreciate these chefs being here today and letting us have an exciting and unique evening and way to do the taste kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you to one of our wonderful, enticing entree sponsors, mm -hmm. Hyde Bailey. We appreciate your support. Now I have to share with you audience that I am living the dream here this evening. This has always been one of the things that I have wanted to do. Back in 2007, when I interviewed with our chief 
Development Officer, Heather Bonaconte, she asked me, what do you want to be, or what would be your favorite job if you could make anything up? And I said to be a, a world-renowned uh, taste tester. So tonight I am, I am living the dream, people. I'd also love to hear um, for Chef Garrett. Yes, ma'am. What's your favorite thing on the Blue Agave menu? Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with blackened tuna. Oh, that sounds good. Blackened tuna. Chipotle teriyaki, nice uh, blackened, still raw tuna with uh, chipotle teriyaki and a pineapple pico. It's amazing. Very fresh, very summery. Make sure you get on over to Blue Agave to try that blackened tuna out. So Chef Ryan, please tell me, what is your favorite menu item from Bistro Natil? Uh, our scallop dish is pretty phenomenal. Uh, just simple pan seared, local Swiss chard, uh, pickled garlic, whole beans from the farm, fresh heirloom tomatoes. Our sous chef has a whole 50 acre farm out there. Oh, so uh, we use a lot of that stuff. We use a lot of the produce that comes naturally from the farm that day. Uh, and it's more so a principle that we just kind of follow uh, more than anything. That's awesome, yeah. wonderful. So get over to Bistro Natil to try that out. <laughs> well, let's take another moment to thank one of our enticing entree sponsors, Blood and Peterson. Thank you so much for your support this evening. Chef Ryan, what are you mixing there right now? Uh, I cooked a little bit of that uh, Kellogg's corn flakes. Oh. And mm. <laughs> some half and half. And, uh, just cooked it down and now I'm making a uh, spetzel batter. I'll let that rest right until the end. I'm gonna work on the meatballs and the uh, agridolce is about halfway done right now. Okay, let's take a moment to thank another one of our enticing entree sponsors, Bohemian Foundation. Thank you for your support this evening. Oh boy, the impossible meat has made its way out. This is exciting. <laughs> Okay, we'll do a question, a little trivia here. So, how many pounds of food do you think that the Food Bank for Larimer County distributed last year? Just take a wild guess that the Food Bank for Larimer County distributed last year. 120,000. Okay, 120,000, what do you think? In the entirety of the year? Yes. Pounds of food? Yes. Let's go with 500,000. Okay, guys, you're going to be blown away here. 10.5 million pounds of food. Wow. So in a normal year, we actually partner with about 30 restaurants, breweries, wineries, distilleries for our annual taste benefit. So we are really hoping to do this again next year at a ballroom. <laughs> and we hope to see you all there for the taste benefit next year. Now is that the impossible meat there that you are breading and? It is. Okay. I'd like to take a moment to thank another one of our enticing entree sponsors, Citizen Printing. Thank you for your support this evening. Is your can opener work? Oh, I think they're sharing tips. Look at this right, teamwork. Oh, one. how kind. <laughs> no, I know, but this one just, yeah, oh yeah, it's way better. We thought it might make it interesting to not have can openers maybe today and see what happens there. <laughs> now we have these egg yolks going into the blender with Chef Garrett. Some diced tomatoes being added in. See, I got the meatballs in and I got a uh, spetzel batter resting for right now. And uh, yeah, agridolce is almost there. You are on it. Okay. If you could only cook with one main ingredient for the rest of your life, what would it be? Fennel, orange, salt, and eggs. Oh, well, Is there you go. More than one? <laughs> more than one ingredient? One. Fennel. Fennel, okay. Yeah. And how about you, Chef Garrett, one ingredient? To cook with for the rest of your life, what would it have to be? One ingredient. Cilantro. 
cilantro. Okay. Right. And why not take a moment to thank one of our enticing entree sponsors. Thank you so much to Dellenbaugh Subaru. We've got the steamer opening up. Let's see what goodies are hidden in there. What did you have going in the steamer? It's uh, kale. Oh, the kale's in there. Okay. All right, Chef Ryan, the yep. most outrageous thing you have ever cooked or eaten. Uh, we broke down a pig at one of our restaurants and uh, we did a uh, pig tongue brisola, like we made a house cured meat with it. And that is a really good dish. Mm. How about you, Chef Garrett? The most outrageous thing you have ever cooked or eaten? We got crazy one year and we, uh, my corporate chef and I, we decided to do like foie gras tamales with lobster for this cooking competition and it was, turned out actually amazing. Probably the weirdest, coolest, scariest moment because <laughs> foie gras is not cheap, so you mess it up and. <laughs> and to our viewers out there, did you know that the Food Bank for Larimer County is one of 200 Feeding America member food banks and one of five Feeding Colorado food banks. We work together to share best practices and to get food to those in need. How are we feeling, chefs? Are we feeling like we're getting everything done that we were hoping to? I do, All hoping right. to. You guys are amazing. And what's something you've always wanted to cook? This right here for me, right? Absolutely. <laughs> it's a dream Always dreamt about impossible burgers, <laughs> impossible meat, and with cornflakes. How about you, Chef Ryan? Something you've always wanted to cook, or somebody you've always wanted to cook with? Uh, Eleven Madison Square Park. I've always wanted to work uh, work there. It's New York. A, always been a dream. Cool. Just uh, the amount of detail that goes into everything is just insane. Look how calm and collected these guys are. I mean, I would not look like that if I was trying to do this. <laughs> I know you all wish you could be here getting to taste this too, and I am sorry, but you'll have to hit up Blue Agave Grill <laughs> and also Bistro Natil and enjoy some of their menu items there. Two minutes and 20 seconds. I don't feel like I want to bother them right now while they're plating. They're just concentrating so much on making it look beautiful. Don't want to throw their game off. One minute and 30 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds. Chef Garrett looks ready to rock and roll. Chef Ryan is putting the final touches on his dish as well. And these, God, look at these guys. They're like time to spare, all laid back. This is amazing. <laughs> Looking delicious. We've got an approving look from uh, Chef Garrett over at Chef Ryan's dish as well. 22 seconds, but I mean, seriously, these guys are like, we're done. <laughs> All right, Chef Garrett, if you would like to bring your dish over to me, please. Thank you. Wow, this looks amazing. Okay, tell me about this, please. So we got the impossible meat, kind of like fried burger patties with, I use the cornmeal, or the cornflakes, I guess, on that. Um, and that is a tomato roasted garlic hollandaise with a honey pea puree with a twice cooked kale. Mm. That was really good. And the sauce is amazing. Any kind of hollandaise is always a good thing if I can just put that on everything I eat. Right. Mm. Very good. Thank you so much. Chef Ryan, please bring me your dish. Thank uh, you, beautiful. Cornflake spetzel with a uh, 
carrot and uh, kale agridulce, which is kind of sweet and sour, and then some Hungarian spiced impossibles. Mm. So you have sweet, sour, and savory kind of all going on. It's really good. And you said that you made this whole dish vegetarian, correct? Yes. Wow. 100%. I love the flavors and very impressive. Um, I'm normally more of a meat eater and this is, tastes fabulous to me. I love it. Um, this is really hard not to be eating all of these dishes in front of you all, but I'm gonna try and contain myself. Um, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This was really hard because these were both amazing dishes, really. I am so impressed with what they were able to put together in just 30 minutes in our commercial kitchen here. But I'm gonna have to go with Chef Garrett from Blue Agave. Congratulations! Woo! <laughs> that was amazing. Right. And wonderful right. job. Thanks. They were both delicious. Yeah. They were both amazing. Thank you. Now I'm going to go back to eating some more of them. <laughs>